Late in the 19th century, in 1897, another scientist by the name of J.J. Thompson hypothesized that atoms are made up of even smaller particles. Thompson conducted experiments in which an electric current was passed through tubes pumped almost empty of air. You observe. What do you see when the electric current passes through the tube? You can see that light is given off. This light is created by rays traveling through the tube. Thompson observed that when a magnetic charge is introduced, the rays are deflected. Thompson reasoned that the rays were made up of negatively charged particles. Today, we call these negatively charged particles found in atoms electrons. Thompson also hypothesized that positively charged material existed in the atom. In his model of the atom, he proposed that an atom was made of a positively charged material in which negatively charged electrons were scattered. His model of the atom became known as the plum pudding model. He envisioned small electrons embedded in the atom, much like raisins embedded in a plum pudding. And about the same time, Henry Becquerel, Pierre Curie, and Marie Curie were learning fascinating things about the way certain elements emit energy in a process called radiation.